Hey, Thor. You gonna say hi to the camera? Hi. So here we go. We're doing retrofits on and neon. So we have our shrouds, which are right here. And I guess my friend is telling me, who does retrofits all the time, that a good trick to get the chrome off, instead of scuffing them up, is easy off. So I'm gonna show you guys how this works, or if it does work. So we're gonna shake it, shake it, shake it. Say hi to the puppy. Can you say hi, Thor? Can you say hi? <laughs> and when I'm done shaking, we'll be back. No dogs around, which means you. Hey, front yard, get going. Now, get. Thor, you too. Easy off should be done in a well ventilated area. So, what we're gonna do is, I'm assuming I'm just gonna soak them. And it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to wear a respirator. Shake, 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 shake. We we'll make sure we're gonna save some of this for the next set of lights. So we'll let this sit for a bit and we'll come back. So here is the before. As you can see, it's just a depot clear headlight. Here is after literally like five minutes with a heat gun. And um, we got it off. We will still take that out, which is just a little Allen key. But I want to show you the difference. I will show you him taking them apart, which is super easy. And as promised, you'll see here that the shrouds are going to be bare plastic now. So it's just still sitting here. We'll be doing the same thing to the headlights because the headlights will be going black. Shrouds will be going black with the top part going green. And we are doing demon rays. So to make life easier, instead of using the oven, you can use the heat gun. Now keep in mind that these are aftermarket depot lights, which means that they're going to come apart way easier than an OEM headlight. So I'll show you the steps. He's just going to heat it up. He has just a normal flathead screwdriver, interior clip remover, and a set of reversible pliers that he uses to pull apart. It actually is a really cool trick of the trade. Front yard. You I was gonna bring the original ones back down, but I didn't bother. So these ones are pretty good once you get them going. I didn't have much uh, room in the car when I actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you already had an engine in the back seat. Two, two, uh, two of them. One in the there. trunk, one in the back. <laughs> the poor car.
think he knows he's not supposed to be over here. Just trying to sneak over. Hey, front yard. Sorry, buddy. see one's wiped down you'll see that the easy off made it to bare plastic make sure you can wipe it off use water i gave it a quick wipe i'm still going to wash it off that way any grease and stuff will be off of it for when i spray paint it but it gives you an idea we're going to do the same thing to the headlights which i'll show you and there's my dog he wants to say hi hi i'm going to give you an idea here um like jeff was just saying the actual projector We'll screw into the back and it doesn't interfere with the bottom tab that you see there so that is a bonus but he was mentioning you're gonna have to grind this down a little bit to get at it so we put the shroud just in spot to give you an idea so the shroud isn't screwed in yet and we're gonna drill a hole in the back for the wiring and we do have demon eyes which will be in as well but it gives you a rough idea and I think I'm gonna be into this for a couple hundred bucks Canadian, so that's really not that bad. Shrouds I got for free, thank you to Jeff. I think I paid 130 for the projector and HIDs. I already had my ballast and stuff, so keep that in mind. 